Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and in this episode, which is episode number six of the Studio One 4.5 series, we are going to be looking at some of these new MIDI editing features and we will also take a look at the new chord track auditioning feature, which is very cool. So let's make a start and we will start with the MIDI editing. Now I alluded to this one as well in episode one in the overview, but I thought I would take a look at uh, with you guys um, maybe a couple of different ones that we haven't looked at in the first one. So we'll have a look at a couple more and then we'll look at the core track. Okay, so uh, in this MIDI editor, I think I extended this out, so I had like four notes, and then we did mirroring, and then we extended it to the end of the part. So um, I showed you basically two different features there that um, that got us this with just inputting four notes, and then we created this, this nice little ostinato. So let's say we've decided that this ostinato is great. Let's remind ourselves what it sounds like. So let's say we've decided, yep, this is exactly what we're after. This is great, but it's maybe a little bit busy for uh, what's going on, and we don't really want to go and, and delete notes by hand because that would just take ages. So let's go to the action menu and see what we got. But the first thing I want to do is I want to select every note in this whole part. So I'm going to do Control A. And now that I've uh, selected every single note, I'm going to go to the action menu. And let's have a look at the action menu. So now we've got a whole bunch of different options here. We've got freezing pitch, we've got length and stretch. These are all new. Um, those are original, but then there's all of these processing ones here. So we, we did the extend to part end, and we could we could also do repeat notes to part end, which I think is what we did last time, and we did mirror notes. So let's dis, uh, let's use this one, the thin out notes, because we want to simplify this part. So let's choose that, and this dialog box opens up, and it gives us a choice of simplify or delete notes randomly, and the amount. So you can change this from very low number to 100% if you really wanted to, and by the grid as well, by the quantized value that your grid is set at. So in this case, this grid is set to 16th. So I'm going to set it at 16th, and I'm just going to say simplify. Um, but I could also choose delete notes randomly. It depends, you know, let, let's try both. Let's try simplify first. Okay, now let's have a listen to what we've got. Yeah, definitely much more simple. Um, but let's restore what we had before. And we're going to select all again. Because we want to affect everything here. So let's go back to that action menu. And we'll go back to uh, thin out the notes. And this time we'll go delete notes randomly. And we'll keep it around about 50%. Although we could change that to whatever we wanted. And 16th notes. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, so it's grouped things randomly. Let's have a listen to what this sounds like. Well, that's actually quite a funky little pattern there. Um, you know, if you're doing something dance orientated, this might work really, really well for you. So uh, this is a good option that you can maybe experiment with. So um, there, there are lots of actions that you can um, you can choose here. I mean, you can randomize the notes as well. I mean, uh, use original pitch range, use original pitches only. You can set the range and the strength. You can choose the velocity and note length. You can choose all of this, or you can and you can choose to apply scales or shuffle notes. There's loads of options that you can experiment with here. Um, so randomizing notes could be quite fun. Let's use original pitch range and we'll keep this we'll keep everything at 100 percent and uh, we'll just do okay. Let's see what happens. Okay, a glorious nothing happened there. Maybe it's because I didn't choose enough options. Uh, let's see, let's let's just tick these and we'll tick soft shuffle notes. Let's see what this does. Okay, there we go. 
So let's see what this sounds like. Now that's quite cool because it's turned some of them into really long notes and some into really quiet notes. So all of a sudden you've got a completely different composition just like that. So let's restore everything. Uh, to the original actually is what we'll do. There we go. And so there are, as you can see, a whole bunch of things that you can play with and explore. So go ahead and check those out. Let's close this out. So the other thing we're going to check out is we are going to check out the um, the chord track and the new stuff there. So let's choose one of the chords and let's open the inspector. And you see that we've got these other options now. So we've got a chord preview, we've got audition chords, and we've got play track. Now I need to open the mixer because I have mute. I have this soloed. So let's unsolo that, and we'll close that just for a minute. And what happens when you um, select these is that it creates a track. I think we showed we showed you this in um, the first video. It creates a new track and a new instrument track uh, called Chord Preview. And you can change the sound of this. And I think I demonstrated that as well in the, in the first one, in the first video. Um, so this is a very, very cool feature. Um, if you're kind of wanting to check out what chords you might want, or, or you know whether you decide you might want to change them. So we've got C major seven, F major seven, C major seven here. So we, I mean, we could change this to I don't know, um, D minor maybe. So let's double click that. Now, because of the way I've got this set up, every time I click on the chord, it's going to play it. Okay, so that's what the audition chords thing is for. Now, when you play the whole song, your whole arrangement, if you have the play track option ticked, it will play the chord track with your chord track instrument uh, along with your song. Uh, the useful function that provides is that you can check whether the chords are matching up correctly with the chord track um, that you have chosen. Okay, so let's say we decide we want this to be minor, but we want it to be D minor. There we go. And so this is a cool thing. When you've got the chord selector open, you can choose the different chord types and you can play around with the voicings and it will play it back to you. So um, if you're not really a keyboard player or you're not really that familiar with chords, then this is a great option for you because you've got different chord types that you can use here. Um, you can select additional intervals. So you can have major sevens. You can have, if you want to get really jazzy, you can have sharp 11s and flat 13s and then all sorts of extensions to the chords. Um, you can change the bass note of the chord. So you can have like a B flat with a D in the bass if you wanted to. Um, there's a whole bunch of options and the chord track with the audition chords function will play those back to you. So, I mean, let's, let's say we go for E flat major seven instead. And as you notice, it plays it back. Now, the velocity is set to 80%. You can change that. So I can roll this back to say 64%. And it might not be quite so in your face every time you try and change this. So let's go back to the C major, which is what we had before. All right, so there you go. You can change the, and you can also change the sound as well if you want to. If you've already got a presence or something like that in your song, like we have, we've got the acoustic guitar, I can choose the acoustic guitar instead. And I need to set that up again. Ah, I know why that didn't work, is because we have that track muted in the mixer. That's why we couldn't hear it. So, there we go. So, if you don't like the chord uh, preview sound, you can use a present sound of your choosing. Um, or one that's actually in your song to give you context for that song. Alright, so there we go. There's those um, wonderful MIDI features and the chord uh, audition feature. Check those out 
and go have fun with them. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.